Hey guys, I'm Pedro Munoz, I'm here at Cobrinha's BGJ School, and I would like to share with you guys a position that works a lot with me. From the back position, we're gonna work some setup, some variation for the guillotine attack. So, take a look right here. So, right here, Chad's George. So, this position right here in specific, it works for a seat belt and also for double under right here. But I'm trying to control Chad over here, okay? So what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna work right here for the seat belt. As Chad is starting protecting his face right here, so he doesn't get my arm across, so I just go my both hands under right here, starting to apply pressure. Like if I wanna turn Chad, what he's gonna do? He's gonna use his hand to try to posture up. So that's the same time he's starting to use his hand right here. That's when I start sliding my knee through. At the same time, I'm gonna do a opposite seat belt right here mm. so again from right here put apply pressure chad is gonna use all the strength as my knee goes through i will grab right here uh the guillotine with the arm in so as my knee goes through i'm gonna just be pointing this foot right here on his hip the whole time this foot right here is gonna help me to engage and also to control the distance right here, how much pressure I wanna apply. So my left leg is gonna go here now. I can choke him right here. So how am I gonna choke him? I'm not gonna extend my body. I'm gonna just keep my elbows in nice and tight and squeeze the first one, okay? And a lot of times right here, Chad is gonna feel the pressure. He's gonna try to jump over this leg first. So go ahead, jump over that leg. Yeah, just posture up the hip. He's gonna create me this space just to lock it. But if you guys notice, his arm is still stuck right there. But when it's very powerful mm. position, I use that a lot. Pedro, one step back over there, so you have the shin on his hips. Yeah. And then he's, he's gonna try to jump over right here the shield so as i choke him here over ah. here he's gonna try you know he's desperate he's about to tap so he's gonna try beat this leg so mm -hmm. go ahead chad so jump 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 all the way all the way oh ah. but he doesn't expect my right leg it was right down on his hip you know just waiting for any any situation to help in the fight itself so uh Pedro, roll back one more time the way you work please the way you work back so okay so you're i'm oh, sorry sorry chad sorry no 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 that's fine that's fine <laughs> so Pedro, get get the shield again so uh okay uh so he's trying to jump to the other side okay let's go again i like it so one keep on going pedro Okay, that, that oh, got it. That? got it, got it, got it. So that's gonna happen. Okay. He's gonna try just to jump over my leg to beat my guard and get on the bottom. Let's go slow on that part, Pedro, because that, that's, a, that's a very important detail and it makes it make more sense for me right now. This part I'm talking about. He's trying to, ah, uh, got it. Oh. You, 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 so depending how far, how deep he's gonna jump, rather he's gonna lock right here to my guard, or if he goes too high, and we ended up falling the other way. Go to head, go ahead, Chad, jump, 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 jump. Boom, we're falling right here. Mm. So what I like to do right here, Cobra, I like to keep my hip heavy and low, mm. and now I lock it. So that's the tail right here, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Under his butt. Oh, let me see one more time. So huh? I'm right here. If I apply pressure, yeah. If he has a strong neck and flexible, okay. he won't tap. Okay. But once I lock under his butt, uh, and I squeeze and extend. Good detail. Crossing like the feet. Very strong here. Boom. Again. In the other variation. Yeah. Let's say he's not gonna jump this way. You're gonna roll on his back. Okay. Um, let it go everything and I try to do my legs right here let's say his arm is wide and open uh. I use my legs to bring his arm close here so it's gonna be easier the space to start an attack at the darts or uh, the anaconda right here so as I do that I can squeeze it right here and let's say it's not working this position, I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing and I put up, I'm, 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 I'm apply a lot of pressure right here. So it's not working. So I'm gonna keep holding my bicep here. 
Now this hand was on his back. I'm gonna hold my elbow. So now I'm holding both hands. He doesn't know which one to go to defend. All right. So that's a that's a that's a that's a detail right here, Cobra. Mm. This way, please. Yep. This. So I'm gonna roll Chad on top of me. But if I roll him this position, seems like he's gonna go right on top of my face. So I'm gonna just hide in my face. Mm. Now you gotta dart some other side. Yep. My knee goes through. As I started going guillotine, he went too fast. Boom! Make sure I lock it. I don't need it to lock his arm perfectly like that. Just, just if I apply the pressure in the elbow, it's gonna need enough to distract him to try to the, the, the survive mode. I go right here. I apply the first pressure, you know, let's say he doesn't, didn't work out, he's keeping fighting through. Every time that he fights through, I have the, I have the, the choice to go back right here and give him the extra resistance, extra thing for, to, for him to think about it. So I got tired of trying to choke him, I go hide both elbows. Now I'm equal right here, you don't know what hand I'm gonna give you the trap. But before I do that, so I'm gonna hide in my face. So from here, I go here. Why? Now I can put it, I can roll here on top of me. It's not gonna smash my nose. Here, he's gonna fight, try to push my head. Always straight back. Yeah. More time, Pedro, please. Good. And, yeah, and, good. Uh, and Pedrinho, can you put the two together, please? The first one and the second one you just did? Can we, all together? Can we change the model? Later, yes, yes. We can. <laughs> <laughs> Jump over, Chet. And then the second variation right here. Chad rolls on his back. Oh, he's starting to try to get his arm somehow. Squeezing here, Chad is not tapping. He's fighting through, hide both elbows. Every time he pushes my hip, I go fight back, Ooh. and then fight back. Well, one more time, Pedrinho. Every time he pushes your hips so over push there, my hips right there. Okay, so you move away. Try to squeeze right here. Okay. You no, know, he has a distance, so I'm turn my hip that uh. way. Ooh, and try to catch something on the way back. If it doesn't work, I do it again. So I move my hip with him that way, and as I go back, I apply some pressure right here. Try to get whatever I can. This leg, the other leg, or both. And the reason why he keeps his hand on your hips, Pedro, is to block that, to not it's let you catch. Block. The reason that Chad is keeping that hand on my hip is with that distance, his elbow is gonna detach from his back. So with that, he has a little bit of space right here so he can breathe. So I shrink my hip with his hand and try to come back strong, aggressive, trap one of the legs or both. You guys, make sure to subscribe to Cobrinha BJJ. Check for the YouTube videos, has a lot of right there. I'm go there all the time. I love it to see all this stuff that Cobrinha puts there. And, you know, thanks for having us right here. It's always a pleasure. Chad, what, what, do, you, what do you have to say, Chad? No, it's amazing stuff. Um, I wish I got to see it, so I'm gonna have to go back <laughs> online to Cobrinha YouTube and Cobrinha BJJ so I can see what was happening to me, so I can actually learn it instead of just feeling it. So thank you, Chad. Thank you, Pedrinho. Appreciate it. Thank you.